Josh Booklover tagged me in the Merry Kiss Cliff tag. Basically what you do is write down a list of a bunch of fictional characters and then you put their names in a jar and you pull them out three at a time and you choose between those three which one you would like to marry, which one you would like to kiss, and which one you would like to push off a cliff. So let's get started. One, two, three. All right. Oh, no, I dropped one. I can do this. Doom from Del Toro Quest. Prince Char from Ella Enchanted, and Benedict from Much Ado About Nothing. Oh, okay, okay. I would marry Doom because Doom is my one true love. And look at him from the Japanese anime. I mean, look at this guy, right? Right? Okay, maybe it's just me, but I love him. And then I would kiss Benedict largely because it would really tick him off and it would be funny. And that leaves Prince Char to be pushed off a cliff and I want to be sadder about this than I am, but I'm kind of like, eh, Char. Like, he's a sweetheart, but... One, two, three. I can count, guys. Warren from Fablehaven, Lord Marsh Morton from A Damsel in Distress, and Colonel Brandon from Sense and Sensibility. Oh, see, I really want to marry both Colonel Brandon and Lord Marsh Morton, and it's hard to downgrade either of them to kiss because I don't want to marry them because I want to kiss them, right? Like, um, ah, I can't push either of them off a cliff. Warren would probably be better for kissing than for marrying. Seriously, this is hard. I can't bear to push either of these two off a cliff, so I'm pushing Warren off the cliff. I'm sorry, Warren. I love you, but goodbye. Lord Marshmorton and Colonel Brandon are really similar characters. They're both older guys, very serious, very just the kind of guy you want to marry. But I think I would marry Colonel Brandon and kiss Lord Marshmorton because Lord Marshmorton is more likely to be drawn into being romantic and he could be really cute and it would be sweet. And I just have always wanted to marry Colonel Brandon because who hasn't wanted to marry Colonel Brandon? Let's be honest. One, two, I can do this. Three. Remus Lupin from Harry Potter. Sholto from The Three Doors. And Mr. Knightley from Emma. <gasps> oh, ho, ho, ho. Ah, I hate, ugh. Who, who did this? Like, who thought this was a good idea? Okay. So I'm gonna marry Lupin because I am Nymphadora Tonks and she marries Lupin and like their relationship just works on so many levels and I just get it. He's just so steady and intelligent and I just love him. This is really hard, but I think I would kiss Sholto because he's just so ridiculous. I have to kiss him for his adorable silliness. And then I'm pushing Mr. Knightley off a cliff. Knightley is my favorite Jane Austen hero. Of all of them, Knightley is my favorite. And I chose to push him off a cliff. <laughs> okay. Mr. Darcy from Pride and Prejudice. Hamlet from Hamlet. And Howl from Howl's Moving Castle. Oh, I, oh, my life. Okay. I'm gonna marry Howl. No. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on. Uh, like, Howl. I just kind of want to marry Howl out of these three. It's happening. Okay. So I'm going to marry Howl because I am Sophie and thusly I think Howl and I would really get along. And he's so ridiculous and beautiful and I just love him. And that castle. I'd marry him just to live in that castle. And then... Ah, oh, I, I don't like these choices. <laughs> okay, and then I would kiss Hamlet. I'm really into Hamlet, like, it's not even that dark brooding thing. Like, I'm not normally into brooding guys, but I just, Hamlet's so broken, and there's, I feel like he had a lot going for him. Like, I feel like Hamlet could have been okay, and then things just kept getting worse. And he really just needs a cooler girlfriend than Ophelia, and I could be that cool girlfriend, and I could, like, make out with him whenever he's feeling sad, and then he'd get over it, and his kingdom would be saved, and he would still be alive, and then I could ditch him for Howl. Good plan. Which means I'm pushing Mr. Darcy off a cliff, and then all the Darcy fangirls are going to kill me, and it won't be pretty. This is 
is so much harder than it should be. Joe from Five Weeks in a Balloon, who is adorable, BT Dubs. Sirius Black from Harry Potter. And Barda from Del Toro Quest. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oops, I just tore Barda. <laughs> Sorry, Barda. Okay, I would marry Barda. He's really steady and strong, and we could go on adventures together, and that would be fun. I'll kiss Joe, because I wanted to kiss Joe the entire time I was reading Five Weeks in a Balloon, because he's just so adorable. Like, Joe, why are you so sweet and amazing? And then I'd push Sirius Black off a cliff, and I'm kind of torn with Sirius Black because a part of me really loves him, and a part of me just really wants to push him off a cliff because he's kind of a brat. So I'm okay with that one. Final three. Bertie Wooster from the Jeeves and Wooster books by P.G. Woodhouse. Jonathan Strange from Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. And Rise from the Two Princesses of Amar. <sighs> okay. Okay. I would marry Bertie Wooster. Like, that's just a thing. Outside of this game, I would marry Bertie Wooster because I love him. We would just be super chill together and be like, yeah, we're married. Now you can stop accidentally getting engaged and life will be good. Oh. And then I would kiss Rise. Because I just... Oh, Rise. I've had a crush on him since I was, like, six. So that would be, like, fulfilling a lifelong fantasy right there. And then I love Jonathan Strange, but I'm pushing him off a cliff. And to be honest, if he tried to kiss me, I might push him off the cliff since the man is married and I have problems with that. I love him. I'm just pushing him off a cliff. It's cool. That's it for my Merry Kiss Cliff Tag. It was kind of silly, but I had fun. I'm not actually tagging anybody, but if while you're watching this you thought, I would like to do this, then do it and let me know because I would love to watch your video. Also, let me know what you thought of my choices and the characters that I listed. Which one would you marry, kiss, or push off a cliff? Thanks for watching and happy fangirling. I, I, I wrote kill because it just works better, Mary kiss kill, and I just have this image of him hitting the bottom of the cliff and like his brain splattering everywhere. So we went with kill. <laughs> Doom. <laughs> Beaten to death by copies of Pride and Prejudice. It, it, he's, he's awesome. <laughs> Birdie Worcester and I would just get married in like any version of real- hello book. Or fanboying. Yeah, like fanning? Fanning. Is that a word?